Okay. On the heels of Chapter 5, let's do another BOM reading. I know I should be tearing through this book, but uh, this is getting good, man. They're getting into warfare and shit. And the Hill of Camorra. That's right. That's in the masthead. The Hill of Camorra and its records. So it had a different name before? What was the other name? It was the Hill of... Uh, something like that. The Hill of Shim. That's right. So is the Hill of Shim the Hill of Camorra? Just wondering. Maybe it's just another hill they like to bury records on. The final struggle between the two nations. Lamanites. Victorious. Oh no! I was rooting for the Nephites. They're the chosen ones. How can that happen? Just off their god. 24 Nephites survive. 24? Okay. One! And now, I finish my record concerning the destruction of my people, the Nephites. And it came to pass. It's one I forgot to highlight. Oh, there it is. And it came to pass that we did march forth before the Lamanites. Two. And I, Mormon, wrote an epistle unto the king of the Lamanites and desired of him that he would grant unto us that we might gather together our people unto the land of Kumora by a hill which was called Kumora and there we could give them battle good thing Joseph Smith lived near there right nearby three and it came to pass. That the king of the Lamanites did grant unto me the thing which I desired. Four. And it came to pass. We did march forth to the land of Kumora, and we did pitch our tents around about the hill of Kumora. Well, they should be able to have archaeological evidence there, because the Mormons, the Latter-day Saints, own that real estate today. So they can do some excavations there and find all this evidence. Let's see, it's 2012. March. They haven't done it yet, huh? Wonder what they're waiting for. Or maybe they already did, and they decided not to tell us about it. I wonder why. <sighs> that we, when we had gathered in all our people in one to the land of Gumora. Behold, I, Mormon, began to be old, knowing it to be the last struggle of my people, and having been commanded it of the Lord that I should not 
suffer <coughs> the records which have been handed down by our fathers, which were sealed, to fall into the hands of the Lamanites. So you pick the hill where you hide the records for your last battle. That is, uh, I don't know, I'm getting mixed up between Shim and Kimura. All right. Chime in, help me out here. All right. Which had been, yeah, the records which had been handed down by our fathers, which were sacred, to fall into the hands of the Lamanites. For the Lamanites would destroy them. Therefore, I made this record out of the plates of Nephi and hid up in the hill Kumora all the records which had been entrusted to me by the hand of the Lord. Save it were these few plates, plates which I gave unto my son Moroni. Hey, it's royalty free. What the fuck? The music. <laughs> Not the beer. the scotch ale this shit is the bomb they should pay me for this <laughs> instead I'll probably get in trouble with YouTube seven and it came to pass that my people, with their wives and their children, did now behold the armies of the Lamanites marching towards them. And with that awful fear of death, which fills the breasts of all the wicked, did they await to receive them. Eight, and it came to pass that they came to battle against us, and every soul was filled with terror because of the greatness of their numbers. Nine, and it came to pass. That they did fall upon my people with a sword and with a bow and with the arrow. And with the the axe and with all manner of weapons of war on gold. They're riding on gold. Doesn't it sound like that? Ten! And it came to pass. Uh, that my men were hewn down. Yay. Even my ten thousand who were with me and I fell wounded in the midst, and they passed by me, that they did not put an end to my life. Eleven! And when they had gone through and hewn down 
all my people, save it for 20, and four of us, <coughs> among whom was my son Moroni, and we, having surrendered, survived the dead of our people, did behold on the morrow, when the Lamanites had returned unto their camps from the top of the hill of Kumara, the ten thousand of my people who were hewn down, being led in the front by me. Twelve! And we also beheld the ten thousand of my people who were led by the son of Moroni. Another ten thousand? Oh no! Thirteen! And behold, the, the ten thousand of Gidgadoni had fallen. And he also in the midst. I'm overcome with emotion, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> pretty tore up about it. <laughs> Fourteen. Then Limhi had fallen with his ten thousand, and Gilgal had fallen with his ten thousand, and Limha had fallen with his ten thousand, and Jonam had fallen with his ten thousand, and and Kaminiaha, and Moroniha, and Antionim, Antionim, and Siblom, and Shem, and Josh had fallen with their 10,000 each. Oh, fuck. Now that's catastrophic. I wasn't keeping track, but that's, but that's a lot of people, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so dramatic, I'm just blown away. Alright. 15. Alright, I'm over it already. And... It came to pass that there were ten more who did fall by the sword with their ten thousand. Uh, each Yea, even all my people, save it were twenty and four. Okay, all right, all right. They just explained it the law, the round, long roundabout way, you know. I mean, they had so much gold, they had to do something with it. <laughs> so they thought, hey, you know what? Let's write this um, long-winded abridgment. <laughs> I mean, Moroni, the Reader's Digest wouldn't take you. <laughs> you don't know how to bridge shit. <laughs> okay. Say if it were twenty and four who were with me and who and also a few had who had escaped the south countries and a few who had descended over unto the Lamanites. Had fallen and their flesh and bones and blood lay upon the face of the earth. 
being left by the hands of those who slew them. To molder upon the land and to crumble and to return to their Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Sixteen. And my soul was rent with anguish because of the slain of my people, and I cried. <clears throat> Seventeen. O oh, ye fair ones. O oh, ye fair ones. As in, oh shit, no more whiteies. Is that what you mean? Oh ye fair ones, how could ye have departed from the ways of the Lord? Oh ye fair ones, how could ye have rejected that Jesus who stood with open arms to receive you. Eighteen! Behold, if ye have not done this, ye would not have fallen. But behold, ye are fallen, and I mourn your loss. Nineteen. O oh, ye fair sons and daughters, ye fathers and mothers, ye husbands and wives, ye fair ones. How is it that ye could have fallen? Twenty. But behold, ye are gone, and my sorrows cannot bring your return. Twenty-one. And the days have cometh that your your mortal must put on immortality. So that ain't so bad. And these bodies, which are now moldering in corruption, must soon become incorruptible. Talk about recycling. Uh, must soon become incorruptible bodies, and then he must stand before the judgment seat of Christ to be judged according to your works. And if it is, and if it so be that ye are righteous, then ye are blessed. And your fathers who have gone before you. Ye are blessed with your fathers who have gone before you. 24. Oh, that ye had repented. Uh, before this great destruction had come upon you. But behold, ye are gone. Me too. And the Father, yea, the eternal Father of heaven, knoweth your state, and he doeth with you according to his justice and mercy. And that's it for six, and that's all I think I can do. Uh, I don't know if I want to do any DNC. Let's see. I think no. Oh, yeah, all right. I'll do a DNC after this. But if you're done, and I don't blame you, peace the fuck out, and have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, I don't mind at all.